it Mexico City. It's a beautiful city. No, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's the biggest city in Latin America and it, it has a very specific type of uh, challenge. The question here is how to renew the city center. And that is exemplary for many, many Latin American cities. So that's why we're here. The Urban Labs program was invited here in Mexico to work on a specific project, one neighborhood, uh, Doctores, which is located right between the old historic center and the dynamic area outside. This area is part of the early 20th century ring that was built around the city center and that is now more of a buffer zone than a bridge. where we work, which is called Doctores, is an area that's in the city center, but it has a bad name. There was a lot of crime, um, and so it is very difficult to get the first sparkle of investment uh, going. And that means most of the uh, most of the middle class people start to 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 live far away from the city center. So you get a, you get a kind of a donut, a hollowed out city. So we need to bring that back to just some. Some, some, some human aspects of, 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 of the city. It's, it should not be too difficult, actually. It's a huge city, it's a global metropole, uh, and it's uh, been a laboratory and playground for architects and urban planners uh, for centuries. The private sector is looking eagerly for, for, for modern, viable models that they can uh, start investing on. Mexico City is a very strong place has a lot of uh, input now, but there are a lot of difference, social difference. I'm always interested also in my practice in the mechanisms. So what kind of rules, what kind of, uh, how do we involve the people, uh, co-creation. Uh, and I think all these aspects are in this project. We want to identify, but with earning money, we want to invest in keeping social mix, but also make the neighborhood more sustainable. Mexico City is built on a former lake, it's in a valley. And because of that there is a big problems with, uh, with the water system in the city. Uh, the drainage, it's very difficult to get the water out of the city uh, because there's a lot of uh, paving, not so much green. Uh, there's a lot of floods in the streets. The first time we, we, we were in, in Mexico City, um, we, had, uh, we had a visit in, in Doctores. Um, we had uh, a few conversations with, uh, with different departments from, from CEDUVI, the planning department of the city. Uh, th there was no previous um, a work relation between the United Nations, uh, Mexico and, and the, the, the urban planning department here at CEDUVI. We have been uh, getting in this one and a half day uh, such a wealth of knowledge and, and ideas that they already have for the area. I'm very uh, impressed by the, yeah, the, the detail and the understanding and the quality of, of the people that are working in Sedovi. We arrived here expecting that we would get a huge amount of information, but we didn't get so many details. So when we were back in Holland, we, we were still hungry to get more specific information. The first things we did was uh, we started uh, sketching. We started, we took our sketch paper from the Netherlands and we started sketching and we put it all on the wall. This Dutch way of getting these different disciplines uh, together and, and, and uh, uh, sketching together in a workshop kind of way, that is really uh, something that they find really interesting in Mexico City. The design team came here for the first time in May 2016 and since then has been working on plans leading to the first presentation that is uh, today. The first mission was not so easy because they needed to gain trust. But after the first mission where they showed all their designs, there was a lot of enthusiasm within Cebu.
received it in a, in a good way, that they see the potential of uh, work like this. Got a lot of inspiration of, or ideas uh, concerning their work. The next step is to have all the meetings with the experts and to get more information and then we have to generate all this uh, information into uh, yeah, more concrete uh, action. Doctoris is not very easy to understand. It's, it's a complex area that looks quite nice in some parts, but quite grim in others, and surely it looks different at night. You always want to get that feel of a city, to talk to the people and to see it for yourself, to understand what you have to design and change. Developments will uh, will raise the prices yeah. and will make the gap bigger. On the other hand, it's a very positive development, eh? because you you see that uh, there's more housing added, more commerce. There's a development in the plint. How will you make it? Uh, how will you make the, the, the development of the neighborhood in such a way that this uh, doesn't make it possible for lower incomes to to also be here? that a lot of people do live here they do not part, take part in the in this economy because it's uh, people come from outside to work here and then in, in the evening they, they go home they're probably not so interested to, to uh, improve the area and uh, but but the people who are living here they would uh, desire different things one of the things we've been thinking about to get this mix between commercial activities, housing, good public space to get a, like a activity in the city during uh, the whole day. This is also quite nice to keep the, this kind of uh, building, so you should also not throw away the total uh, identity of the, na the neighborhood. The, that's also what said the mix of this kind of one, two layers, a little bit older buildings. Okay, this is uh, social housing. Um, that, that that's really nice. Could be nice about the area. This sort of different uh, heights, not one concept, one plan with. Oh, uh, this is it. Maybe uh, many times we in Mexico are so focused on our trouble here and our problems so I think it's very fresh view people from Holland. Holland has a great tradition and great history of urbanization. So we said this street can do that, this street can do that and already there's a zoning plan but then later we thought it's maybe a little bit too rigid. Meetings, collaboration work really in two ways. It's learning what is going on and what is possible, but also sharing ideas, testing if the points of departure are valid, where the plans need to be adjusted, and a real exchange of, of, of design principles, ideas, in order to understand what works and what doesn't. The narrative I'm, I'm saying we are going to make this, this fabric of, of 68 layers in which people still have some connection. There were many, many meetings this time with uh, all sorts of, uh, all kinds of stakeholders. The investment banker, the NGOs that are working in Doctoris, uh, the innovative real estate developer, and of course, the people that live and work in Doctoris. They are critical, uh, they, they talk, uh, uh, we have intense discussions and that's what I very much like. Uh, the people are uh, uh, quite a bit present um, in, the, in the workshop. So we are also looking for some very uh, concrete strategic projects in which we can start with this densification, the social processes, but also the, the, the design of the public space. So some first uh, starts and tests on the, on the location in Dr. All my family, uh, my grandfather and my grandmother live here. 
my parents, now I live here, and my son and my daughter live here, so it's the fourth generation. This is a popular neighborhood, but it has a lot of faces. In the health of the community, in the relations of the community, you can see a lot of um, drug, addic drug addiction, it's drug selling and delinquency. These kind of neighborhoods, neighborhoods needs to be asked and to get into this dialogue so they can feel part of, of their own neighborhood. Try to have the best kind of communication and make them part of all the plan. The transformation is not in the, in the, in the streets or in the buildings. I don't think there is a transformation. The transformation is in the, in the person, in the people. Armed with all this information, the design team made changes to their initial plans and they had the chance to present it again. All the heads of the departments of the municipality of Mexico City are present and if they embrace the plans it is possible to go on to develop the plans further and most of all to develop plans for funding and implementation. What we decided now uh, with the heads of the department in Sedubi is to make a handbook, an advice to Sedubi how to approach doctors in general and more detailed plans for three pilot projects in the area. Once that is done, this phase of the project is finished and it would be wonderful if this design team can remain involved in the developments afterwards. Because it's the UN, uh, that gives optimism because they know they can pull on the UN, they know that they can use the UN to, to push boundaries a little bit further than they can by themselves. Which is very important, that discussion. But the most important thing right now for us in Mexico City is put it on the ground. Very good comments, I think, and that's, yeah, it, it would be nice to stay here longer to start working with the different departments. And hopefully we can get um, energy, time, money for the Urban Lab 2.0 and really start help them to work on this pilot project. I'm really optimistic about the future of this program and this project. Wow.